today it's all about the flex frame. The flex frame is the defining characteristic and what makes the Ventrac 4500 different and it's career day here at Ventrac. You guys having fun? Good. All right. Anyway, like I was saying, the flex frame is what makes the 4500 Ventrac totally different from all other compact tractors. Technically speaking, the Ventrac 4500 is a center articulating and oscillating tractor, but that doesn't float off the tongue very well. So we coined the term flex frame to give you an easy way to remember when we talk about our tractor bending and twisting, we just say flex frame and that's what we mean. Now that we have the correct terminology that's easy for you guys to remember and us to say, let's define that technology and what it actually means for the tractor in use. Our tractor steering is actually accomplished at the center point of the machine and that's what most people would know as an articulated machine. But what we've also added is oscillation into that same joint and this comes with some extra benefits. Basically, our tractor bends and twists at the center. When these two things come together, they provide a whole host of benefits. First of all, like we already touched on, it protects the turf underneath you. Second, it's more comfortable for the operator because the machine isn't bouncing around as much. You also experience benefits with hillside stability or traction in general so that you don't get stuck as often. All of those advantages come together to create a more effective machine that's easier and more efficient to use than alternatives. So let's talk about why this matters. At this point, you might be thinking, that sounds nice, but what's the advantage? How does it compare to what I'm used to or what everybody else has? Because their stuff is supposed to be good too, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be, and in most cases it works okay. But what most people are familiar with when you think compact tractor is a standard sit on the back, steering wheel in front of you, rigid frame, single piece tractor, and the front wheels turn to steer it. And that's problematic in a couple ways. When you turn those machines very sharp, those front wheels are jacking all the way to one direction or the other, and you're actually pushing them as you're turning. So you're literally tearing the turf to make that turn. Being able to turn the vent track by having the front and rear axle follow the same wheel path does zero damage in comparison to that. The other advantage that the vent track has then over the normal compact machine that has a rigid frame is that when you go over an obstacle or dip a wheel into a gopher hole or something with a normal tractor, you'll feel it at the operator's seat because since the frame is rigid, the whole machine will tip. And most of them have some sort of live axle or torsion system to help absorb that impact, but it's not nearly to the extent that the vent track is capable of. You can actually take a 4500 and park that tractor on a flat surface and drive one corner of the machine only onto an eight inch block or curb or whatever else you've got, a log or something, and all four wheels will still be contacting the ground with the exact same force. So it allows you to take on more extreme conditions while still feeling perfectly stable and maintaining traction. Normal compact tractors don't have the capability to do this, and if you try, oftentimes it will lift one corner of the machine up completely, and you'll just have one wheel spinning. In that scenario, you have to have the differential locked so that you maintain traction, you can actually keep driving forward. And then you have to switch back and forth between diff locks so that you don't tear the turf up. The vent track can do all of this without a diff lock at all, so you never have to make those changes. You simply get on the machine and drive it. And that differs, obviously, from most compact tractors where they all have four-wheel drive, but you have to select between two and four. Why would you ever take it out of four-wheel drive, right? Well, if you're mowing your yard or something and it's a front wheel steer, you would want to be in two wheel drive so that those front wheels aren't tearing up quite as bad. But then you might get to a section of the, of the property where you have to have four wheel drive to make it through or you need the extra traction on a hill or something and you have to switch back and forth. So there are times where you might not be in the optimal two wheel drive, four wheel drive in a normal compact tractor, but because of the situation with the machine, you have to make this distinction yourself and decide which one you want to choose. The Ventrac, being full-time all-wheel drive, is first of all possible because of the flex frame. We're able to have it full-time all-wheel drive and still not tear up the turf. And secondly, since it's in all-wheel drive the entire time, it's something you don't have to think about, which again, lends it to being an easy machine to operate. So there it is. That's all about the Ventrac 4500 flex frame. Thanks for watching this Monday Morning Minute on the flex frame. And remember, every time you watch a Ventrac video where you see our tractor doing something amazing, it's made possible in no small part,
by the flex frame.